In this tutorial we're going to show you how you can export subscribers from MailPoet. Here you can see we're already looking at the MailPoet uh, administration area and read subscribers as you can see on the left there. What we need to do now is click on export at the top and we can choose what lists we'd actually like to export subscribers from. Maybe you only want to do one list and then you can choose the format you would like. You can choose a CSV file or an Excel file and then the next setting is to only export confirmed subscribers and really you should only ever be exporting the confirmed subscribers because they are the ones that you know are subscribed to that list and then just the next array of options we have there are what actual fields we want to export now email is obviously the one that's most important you can also choose the first name last name IP address subscribed from if they're subscribed or unconfirmed and the subscription date for most times though, just using the email address is fine. I recommend also grabbing the first name and the last name as well. Uh, because obviously if you're doing this, you might actually be moving your subscribers over to a new list or something similar to that on a new site using MailPoet, or you might actually be looking to move to a different mail service entirely. So you know, once you're happy with all of these details here, all you need to do is click export. It'll then go and generate that file. And then you can just click on this link here to download that. Then just to show you how that file is going to look, we can see that on the screen just now. Uh, the first line is extremely important for when you're importing subscribers at a later time because it tells you know, your email client what format the data is provided in. So as you can see, we have lancetexample.com, uh, then there's, a com there's two commas, so we have nothing after either of those, which means that there's no record of the first or the last name. Uh, within the, the list for this particular subscriber. Uh, but that's all you need to know when it comes down to exporting subscribers from MailPoet. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.